Well, it was a pretty extraordinary day, and I think you can obviously see that for the football team, the athletic program, and for NDSU, but it was an extraordinary day for the state of North Dakota. Uh, it's just been a truly amazing opportunity, a uh, once-in-a-lifetime moment. A lot, of, a lot of people don't get this opportunity to, to be around a sitting president. Um, but for us, it's just a, kind of a dream come true, in all honesty. You know, we came in with hopes and dreams of winning national championships and going undefeated and things of that nature, but never in our wildest dreams would we have thought that the president would want us to come. So we wanted to try to cram in as much as we could in the time that we had here and, and let the guys experience as much of Washington, D.C. as they could. So from, from leaving Fargo at 4.30 this morning, uh, to get into the White House around 10 a.m. and then going through security and, and spending what we thought was going to be about an hour in the, in, the, in the White House, spending almost about two, two and a half hours in the White House and, and, and really the icing on the cake was to be able to get into the Oval Office and, and, get, a, and get a photo there with President Trump and then to head over the Capitol. Um, and Senator Hoban and his staff have been incredibly generous of their time and, and access to facilities, ate lunch with them, got to exchange some gifts with the, with the North Dakota delegation, and, and then just to be able to come out here and, and, and check, take out the, check out the monuments, walk around for guys to see the Vietnam Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, and, and just take it all in for those guys who haven't been here before. What an unbelievable kind of first impression, but a great opportunity for them.